tonight. It seems firefighters love their job and they know it comes with risks. Not long ago, after entering a home filled with carbon monoxide, two Fresno City firefighters were rushed to Community Regional Medical Center's Leon S. Peters Burn Center. It turns out, along with the state-of-the-art care they received, the fire department's fundraising efforts also made a difference in saving their lives. Two Fresno City firefighters were rushed to Community Regional's burn center after entering a home filled with the silent killer, carbon monoxide. These firemen were in there for no longer than 10 minutes and one of them passed out, so that gives you an idea of how quickly it can be. The firefighters were immediately placed into new computerized hyperbaric oxygen chambers. In the chamber, they're breathing 100% oxygen, so that's five times more. But it's also two to three times greater concentration in, in terms of pressure. Nurse Sandy Yovino, director of burn services at the Leon S. Peters Burn Center, oversaw the care for the two firefighters when they were treated. And the treatment of the procedure generally lasts um, two hours uh, for carbon monoxide poisoning. It could go up to three hours um, for the procedure. There's a lot of prep time before and after the procedure. The patients uh, with carbon monoxide poisoning will go in to the chamber three times within a 24-hour period. Marissa, let's go over the schedule for this afternoon. What it looks the like. team places the patient into the chamber as soon as possible after they're diagnosed with carbon monoxide poisoning. And that's why it's wonderful to have um, our hyperbaric center here located with our level one trauma uh, center. We're a very comprehensive facility um, and that adjunct of, of hyperbarics is, has been um, very life-saving for a number of patients, especially our firefighters. Fresno Fire Department Chief Randy Brugman understands firsthand the risks his firefighters take every day to save lives. We try not to ever put ourselves in situations that we have to use them. Uh, but unfortunately, every now and then we'll uh, run into a situation where we'll have an equipment failure, so we get a smoke inhalation ourselves. This life-saving equipment, essential to the burn center, was made possible through fundraising by Valley Firefighters, Community Regional Medical Center burn staff, and volunteers. That was natural. Uh, the risk of firefighters uh, succumbing to carbon monoxide poisoning is, is very much a risk and we want to make sure that we, we have what we need to support them. So our firefighters actually started the uh, uh, fill the helmet uh, and uh, once or twice a year they'll go out in the street corners and their commitment is to raise $100,000 uh, per year for five years and I think they're almost at that goal and it's only th we're only three years into it. Thanks to all of the community support, Fill the Helmet Funds has purchased two new hyperbaric oxygen chambers. The chambers are, are produced by what's called ETC, and we are the first um, facility here on the West Coast uh, to have these new chambers. The other advancement is the ability um, to put patients who are heavier and larger uh, into our chambers. These new chambers that we have are actually much larger than our older models and patients do say that they're much more comfortable. As first responders, the firefighters know how important it is to have an effective team of specialists and state-of-the-art equipment ready for any situation. We look at it as a real team effort and uh, so we know uh, if you spend any time in the emergency room or in the burn center you have a, a whole new appreciation for the talent that's there and also the difficulty of their work. And so we appreciate that. And uh, uh, we know it's a team effort. And we're just the first, kind of the first leg of the team. So we are blessed in this community uh, to have a regional medical uh, center here. With the trauma center and the burn center, uh, world renowned. Whether it's helping firefighters or anyone in the community, Brugman has seen their investment success. We have seen it work on countless occasions where we have taken somebody in with a significant burn or a traumatic injury and because of the level of care that they get uh, immediately when they arrive at that hospital uh, is, is the reason why they're alive today. Thanks to the community support, these heroes who save lives every day are able to come home safe to their families.